I'm saving DT. I'm saving DT. Oh, he's so low, dude. Yup, that's me. Stuck in a small steel cage with the most unfair demon this side of Fortuna. How'd I get into this situation? Well, that's a long story, friend. See, around these parts, we don't believe in upgrades. You're born how you're born. You don't get to just magically change that. So naturally, when some redcoat cowboy waltzed in and shot the Pope, and demons started cropping up throughout town more and more, I had to step up. See, this town didn't make heroes. I was just another average Joe. An average Joe with a demon arm, but that's an even longer story for another time. So, yeah. This is consistent for me, so I'm just going to do that. Just pull him into the air. Until he, uh, he gets deaded. He was trying to use the best move in the game. Unfortunately for him. Yeah. I know all of his moves. And he doesn't have a ton of them because I haven't purchased them. I don't think that's how this fight works. But imagine if it did though. All right, I gotta go, gotta go for the grab, right? Gotta, go, gotta go for the grab. Okay, and it worked. <laughs> you can play on DMD without a, an unlock weapons. Will you beat it? I already have it, am Amelps. I already have a DMC3 save where you play on DMD without any upgrades and unlocked weapons. I didn't know it at the time, but the guy I'm punching. His name's Dante. Some call him a legendary devil hunter. Others, a son of Sparta. Me? I just knew him as the guy that shot the Pope. And it was my job to track this dirt bag down when he got away. So, this is like, this is a church kind of thing for like the order, right? It's got statues and everything. How did Nero not think that something was up? when he literally walked into this building like first thing and he what he does he grabs evil legacy holding the power of an ancient e like why did the church have this and also why was it why was it just in the open like i uh i, I don't know <laughs> like he should have been like okay what's going on and yeah, so I have six bars of health, which is uh, approximately 14 less than what you should have. I also have no moves, which is approximately 100% uh, less than what you should have by this point. Uh, fortunately, this game does still ha give... So like I have combo D, that's a default combo, which that's like my favorite combo because it's the same as combo a except the last hit just does more damage you're doing your best <laughs> you're just styling on them you're like intense sweaty gameplay you're like <laughs> and the commentator the style dude he's just like subpar oh thanks man why is bruce campbell a style rank though you know now this flaming ball of fun called himself Burial. Kinda ironic when you consider that's what his friends would be attending once I was done with him. That's cool, or whatever. Alright, start- yeah. That was a very... Very unfortunate death. 
Whoa, okay. That's... Good. Don't get close. You gonna charge again? Not gonna risk that one. All right. Sir. Hit him in the damn face. Ah, how did I avoid that last time? Oh, come on. Down to hell you go. Come on. That's not it? Gun. Oh, no. All right, okay, okay. I got it. I had received word that this Dante fellow fled into the mountains, so I followed him into the snow-capped peaks, found my way to the valley between them. That's where Fortuna Castle sat. Now, I had heard stories, but I'd never actually seen the place myself. Figured it couldn't hurt to take a peek inside, Consider it a little break from all the running. After exploring the castle grounds, found some documents talking about hell gates, living demon armor, things like that. I was never one for reading, so I was doing my damnedest to make heads or tails of whatever this stuff was. Anyways, while I was reading this, living armor looking stuff came up to me. He seemed friendly enough, so I let him be and went back to deciphering these books. But something about him just didn't sit right, and I knew he was an enemy. Could have just been his general vibe, or maybe the fact that he tried to pierce me with his lance. That might have done it. Dante's weapons mostly do the same things, but at different speeds and damage values. I mean, you could technically apply that sentiment to everything. Nero's weapon is basically just a Dante weapon, but with varying speeds and damage, right? Nero's buster is just an immediate win button. Yeah, but it's cool, though. <laughs> Let me translate. Yes, but I'm biased and it's cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> when they block with their shield, right? When you see that flash after a sword hit, you can just buster them. Lucid with day one tech, I know, right? So this is the first blitz encounter of the run. Uh, fortunately, I have the gyro blade that will uh, help me kill it. The next time I encounter a blitz, there will be no gyro blade assistance. And that one's what we in the business call foreshadowing. Anyways, made my way through the castle without much trouble, solving elaborate puzzles and damaging private property along the way. Ended up stumbling outside into the courtyard and wouldn't believe what I found. Whoever owned this place was keeping a damn demon frog as a pet. Who the hell does that? Uh, also, if you grab... you So normally you can't grab these women you can't grab the little uh feeler things here until they fall to the ground but when when their arm flashes when they attack you can grab them which is uh another neat thing that maybe some people did not know all right but like what if you died now uh okay no no I can't believe it. He took my lucid luck. Will items be used in case of hard fights? No, actually. Okay. Get mad. All right. 
And that's it. That's the fight. If you watched my DMC5 no upgrades, you would know that one of the upgrades in that game was your exceed meter. It could only go up to one. You could only get one bar. In this game, you can get all three bars, but it really doesn't do anything. Uh, obviously, I don't have max act unlocked, so I still can't do that. Yeah, you need to unlock, like, the level three abilities, or level two abilities, even. Now, these guys, they scare me, because of this right here. That right there. Yep. Okay. But like, can you get out of the wall though? Okay. We're good. Alright. So, the goal here is to parry that dude with the body of the frost. When do I think I'll be getting out of that room? You know? It only takes one good attempt, that's the thing. I like how Nero's just like, hmm. There's totally a hidden wall behind that painting. Yup. Devils Never Cry is better than Bury the Light and far more iconic, plus describes Dante in the series as a whole and like Bury the Light where it only describes Virgil. Y okay. But counterpoint, Casey Edwards. I didn't know what I was looking at when I wandered into this room. Some sort of giant dice game? If you asked me at the time, my hunch would have been that this seemed like something owned by some sort of evil mad scientist with a stutter, but that was just a guess. Through sheer luck and maybe a little bit of skill, I moseyed my way on to the end of this place, found myself in what looked to be the wrong end of a test chamber. And would you guess who was on the other side of the glass? Some mad evil scientist with a stutter. I knew it. It was looking like this Dante fellow was gonna have to wait. I had bigger fish to fry. This wasn't my first time throwing flying demonic sword birds at a highly resistant, tempered, and electrified window. So I knew exactly what I had to do. Uh... Huh! Hell yeah. Yeah, nowhere near as bad as Gun Only. Nowhere near as bad. I couldn't quite place it, but something about this guy really bugged me. Thankfully, that wasn't the only reason I had to be annoyed at him, considering he ended up stabbing me in the chest and whatnot. I think that's just about enough to get anyone a little pissed off. How could we forget about the Kiri- the- sorry. Kyrie cutscene? You mean like every other cutscene? Like at the beginning, he's like Kyrie, and then in that cutscene that I skipped, he's like Kyrie, and then when she gets kidnapped, he's like Kyrie, and then when Credo brings her out, he's like Kyrie, and then when she gets absorbed into the Savior, he's like. Kyrie! And then after he defeats Sanctus, he's like, Kyrie. And then he crushes the savior's head, and then he's like, Kyrie. Uh, and there you go, that's, that's Nero's character development in a nutshell. Nero eating a sandwich. Kyrie! You put pickles on my peanut butter sandwich! You know how I feel about pickles! Kyrie, have you found my glasses? They're on top of your head, Nero. Thanks, Kyrie! <laughs> I like the idea of him just inexplicably yelling her name in every encounter. Let me read you some poetry. Kyrie! It's from a book that my dad left me. Kyrie, my neck hurts! <laughs> Nero, dinner's ready. Kyrie! I'll be right in. Kyrie! 
I'm going to the store. Do you need anything? <laughs> He's just always dramatic. <laughs> I love the idea of just always intensely dramatic Nero. Kyrie! I forgot my comically large spoon at McDonald's. Help! Kyrie! I ran out of toilet paper. <laughs> Nero, I sharpened your sword for you. <laughs> oh, you really shouldn't have. Thanks, Kyrie! Uh, this game is rated K for Kyrie! Kyrie! Can you order some pizza? Domino's. Hey, Nero, you ordering pizza? Try Papa John's. If you want Papa John's, then you'll have to take the phone. But you already knew that, Dante. To see the world inside a pizza box and heaven inside. Kyrie! Hold your phone out and order Pizza Hut. Tip the driver in less than an hour. <laughs> Hello. I was wondering if you were open right now. Uh, yeah, dude. That I mean, I answered the phone. Like, uh, yes, uh, of course. I... <laughs> you must understand, I am but two days old. I'm, I'm still new to this whole thing. What? Uh, that that was a joke, by the way. I yeah, I'll take a calzone. All right. Uh, anything else? A medium diet coke. Oh, and a large fry for my pets. All right, that'll be eighteen twenty-eight. Do you accept red orbs? What are you talking about, man? We accept U.S. dollars. This is America. Uh. I'll, I'll have to get back to you on that. Alright, just pay when you get here. Or whatever. Nero, can I borrow your wallet? Please. What is this Red Bull? Perhaps it claims it can give me wings. What form of power is this? Nero, I drank a Red Bull, but it didn't give me wings. What do I do? There... I believe this is what's called false advertising. Can I sue them? They won't forget this human's power. Griffin, did you drink this Red Bull to gain your wings? I would like a number three with a side of power. I would also like to buy the limited time motivation. Kyrie! Have you seen this guy's suggestion about what would make V cooler? A video of uh, Dark Souls 1 on my channel, if you're interested in that was dumb. Sonic still breaks the moon. Oh, okay. You just don't get to do the actual fight. Oh, it's just the QTE. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, I should have beat it first try. But I... I choked, and then now we're here, so. Now we're here. Hello, ma'am. I would like to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. Car's extended warranty, ma'am. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Kyrie! You know what? We did it. All right. I made my way to the HQ to see what all this talk of Hell Gates was about. Oh, and why their top scientists tried to murder me. Before I could even get inside the place, my good pal Credo met me at the door. But would you know it? Before I could even talk to the guy, he turned into an angel demon thing. I guess I should have seen that coming from a religious cult that worshipped a demon as their god and whatnot. And we're just gonna grab spam him. 
Super simp. Yeah, it's a cool, it's a cool little, uh, cool little place they built here. Alright, that's all I was after. And that is more damage. Getting him into the air. Oh, you can actually do two hits. Yo. Alright. We're optimizing. Beautiful. Oh, I really wanted to like grab it in the middle of his face. Okay. He'll lose his shield soon enough. Oh. Come here. We'll just do that then. Still gets two hits. Plus the grab. And there's the shield gone. And here we go. This is the best grab animation in the damn game. Changed my mind. Alright. I've changed my mind. Sanctus is pretty damn good too. Now phase two. Worth it. Worth it. Yep. Worth it. <laughs> it's it's very cool. What? Uh, I just went out of bounds for a second, guys. Yeah, you're not supposed to be able to... Yeah, you, there is an invisible wall here. But, uh, I got pushed out of bounds. There's no way. It's over. I did it. Checkpoint! That's a checkpoint. I was never one for elevators. So naturally, the first thing I did was look for the stairs. But, it seemed like the only way to go up was the steel cage of death. So what happens when your building becomes infested with demons, and you get locked in a small steel cage with them? Well, sit back and find out. Look at this guys, it's new content! Never before seen. Metal Gear Rising in a nutshell. Raiden has to save the president, uh, Raiden gets fired from his job, uh, has a midlife crisis and, you know, gets a new body. And then, uh, there's, uh, there's a guy who talks about memes. He's really into memes. He's that one guy that, like, his entire Twitter feed is just retweeting memes. If you look on his saved photos on his phone, on his iPhone 29, he's got, like, 3,000 plus pictures of memes, and he's ready to send every single one of them at the drop of a hat. He's the guy that responds to conversations with memes. Like, he has a meme for every situation. Just on the ready. On the ready. 
Uh, there's another guy who uh, watched too much anime and also played Devil May Cry and was like, I like katanas and I like engine mechanical things on my weapons. And so he became Brazilian. And then there was a lady who was Russian. That was her special thing. Or was she French? She might have been French. And then uh, there was a really buff guy. And he wanted to wrestle with Raiden. And then they wrestled. And then Raiden said, I am the Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Give me the Metal Gear. And then there was also a guy who was experimenting on children and their brains, I think. Uh, typical Southerner. Uh, and there was also a robot dog who was constantly pissed off because no one ever programmed him to be able to be pet. And all he wanted to do was pet the dog. And that, that's, that's, yep, Metal Gear Rising. At one point, Raiden has like an existential crisis. He's like, maybe I'm not the Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. But then he continues to revengeance his way through life. And then he's like, I was the Metal Gear Rising Revengeance after all. All right, let's not die immediately. Right here. So I have to do all of that plus a blitz without dying. This is probably gonna be one of the hardest sections. It is kind of an endurance test, if you will. It, I am up against quite the gauntlet. So I have four frosts to get through, and then I have some lizards to get through. Okay. Okay. Yep, so I have four of those to get through, three lizards, and then a blitz. And then a blitz. So, do I have a strategy for the blitz? Yes! Uh, shoot it until its uh, thing disappears. So I need to just play this as safe as possible. All right, I think I have a strategy. I didn't, I didn't activate the thing, whatever. I don't need it, as if I need it, as if I would need it for this. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. Why are all of Nero's moves based on gambling terms? Cause it's fun, I don't know. Because, <clears throat> because that's, it speaks. I think it speaks to his fighting style. He's very reckless. He risks it all, you could say, right? Gambling, he puts it all on the line. He doesn't hold back. You snooze, you lose, and it seems you snossed and lost. Cool game, that's not who I even wanted to target. I wanted to target the other one so I could hold him, so I could... Don't hold frosts. You'll regret it. Starting to sound like my... my mother. Listen, Lisa. I'll hold the frosts if I want to. What do you guys want to happen in DMC5? It's 2016 now and there's rumors that it's gonna release in 2017. I really hope that Nero gets more of a spotlight. And honestly, kinda hope Dante dies. Not gonna lie, kinda hope Dante dies. I hope that Nero's arm kinda like spreads and he just becomes like a reptile man. I think that would be cool for Nero. I'm not like other demons. <laughs> I hope they introduce a new character and both Nero and Virgil die and we get to exclusively play as that new character for the entire game. Guys, this DMC1, I sure hope DMC1 will not have a garbage camera angel. All right. Gonna have to play it super safe. Don't spam. Take shots when you can get them. This is a good opportunity for shots. I 
That's a good one. Ah. Shipping away, okay. Yep. So, uh, I have to do that a bunch. So, I have the strategy for these guys. Okay. Okay. I need to get lucky with a big health drop from... Huh? Huh? Thankfully that does, like, no damage. Unless they're devil triggered. Alright. So this is a long section. I have to get through three elevators. With no checkpoints in between. No checkpoints in between. Rage quit I would have been like, Dah, screw this bit. You know? But uh no. Nah. I'm just I'm chilling. Just feeling like uh I'm not really making progress right now. I'm making the same dumb mistakes, and I need to kind of just sit on it for a while, if that makes sense. Come back with a clear mind another time. If anyone can not get hit once, it's not me. Yeah, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be the stream for now. Now I'm a little motivated. No, actually, I'm the one with power. Now! The dreaded elevators. I don't really keep track of world records and such, but I think six hours is probably the longest elevator ride in the history of history. And that's how long it took me to get off these faulty death traps. One mean son of a bitch was waiting for me at the top. I'm saving DT. I'm saving DT. Oh, he's so low, dude. He's dead! He's dead! Kitty! Ah! 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 Sir Agnes here. I think he's actually pretty well designed, personally. All of his stuff is also very well telegraphed, except when he spams annoying things, then I'm gonna completely do a 180 on my opinion, because it's bothering me at, at the current moment. It's over. Maybe, I should have DT'd, honestly. Yeah, I should have DT'd. Got him. <sighs> okay. Okay. Easy. Now we watch the cutscene. Chat wanted to see the cutscene. We watch the cutscene. Is riding elevators supposed to make your back hurt? Kitty, I'm sorry. The elevator. There's something going on with it. Except it's, uh. Oh, God, more elevators. No. Please. I'm, I'm begging you, please. Stop. Even a devil may wear a hat when it has enough red orbs. True. Alright. So, oh, what's up, guys? Fancy of you to be here. Bye. And then we go here. Uh, uh! Alright, let's run it back. Let's run it back one more time. Let's run it back. We're, we're running it back, guys. It's fine. It's fine. We're, we're just, we're running it back. All right? You're wrong, though. I'm not still struggling here. I'm here. I'm done. It, the elevator is bested. Don't let this elevator fool you. It's different. It's not like the other elevators. Ha. <sighs> ha. <sighs> yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. <sighs> easy lay. Who would ever die there? What? It's ju it's just that easy, guys. First try. This <laughs> is zero minutes <laughs> since last laser incident. Bro, the commute to work is real dangerous since they installed those new lasers, let me tell you. <laughs> I heard Jerry lost a pinky. For the longest time, I'd get stuck on something and people were like, Is this the new window? No. No, it's not. And it's not the new elevator, alright? <laughs> Elevator was a one-off thing. It was a it was a one-time thing. All right, you gotta forget about it. Get over it. It happened, and that that's it. Don't don't overthink it and think that everything's the elevator now. You know, can't read too much into it. Otherwise, you'll be seeing elevators everywhere. It'll ruin friendships, bro. You think these la these lasers definitely? We're not OSHA approved. I'm just saying. Don't forget to DT explosion that like button or DT buster the like and bell. <laughs> the subscribe and bell. Don't forget to distortion real impact the sub button. Like, absurdly dangerously close. Oh, he hit me on the backswing and I'm not dead. Those were two emotions right there. Two emotions that I felt. Two of them. That's fine, just gotta do the next to counter. I literally know how this whatever. Uh sir. Sir. Sir, this is a went sir. Sir! I okay. Here's here's my thought process. I could kill them easier and hopefully get a green orb and get health back and you know what dying or no it worked i got health back look at that look at that my plan worked that was my plan was to fight them and get health back and one way or another it worked out so do you think you'll get along with that one swedish english girl ellie fuator i hate i hate I saw it, and I still read it, and I hate. I hate it. Hate is a strong word. Sorry. I hate it. As I stare into the screen of the coming elevator, I see it reaching for my floor. I cannot descend. I must go up. I cannot descend. I must escalate. I have to rest. Ah! He did it! The legend! He combo matted me! And by normally, I mean... Get breakdowned upon. Take half a bar of his health. Every time. Consistently. Okay. He can't royal guard the grab, though. He can't Royal Guard a Buster. That's the thing. So when he's in Royal Guard, you can Buster him guilt-free. 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 Yup. You can't royal guard a buster. He'll try. Let's do it. And Sanctus. Sanctus is gonna be pretty damn easy. 
at least compared to gun only. Duh, dude. It's gonna be so satisfying destroying Sanctus, though, for real. Do you expect Sanctus to be another wall, like he was in my gun only? No? Yes, no, no, yes, no, yes, perhaps? That's a cop-out answer. If you position yourself, when he first goes into the savior, you can buster him as soon as the cutscene ends. Very interesting. We'll see if I can even comprehend that when I'm in it. Yo! 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 <laughs> All right, Sanctus time. Anyways, <clears throat> sir, I literally I hate this is the I hate it. I literally that it it actually makes me mad when he just does that. Like, what? Sir! I'm supposed to be able to hit you? Or something? Like, I don't... Sir. Like, it actually annoys the hell out of me. Ask for forgiveness from me. Okay, do an attack, sir. So, like, you, you literally you can't do anything about that. You just have to accept it, honestly. All right, here we go. It's just that easy. Devil trigonometry. Okay. I mean, that's cool. Oh, he did four? He's never done four. Alright, come on. And that's it. GG. That's Sanctus right there. That would have been kind of nutty. Also, Sanctus just like pulled out. He just like called out the Yamato from Nero's arm. Virgil could have easily done the same thing. He didn't have to rip off Nero's arm. Like, for real. Ares! You use my sister against me! As luck would have it, this Dante fella had a pretty damn good reason for shooting the Pope in the face. On the surface, it seemed like he was all holy and good. But behind the scenes, the good Pope was doing nefarious things. He sought to become some sort of angel by harnessing demon power, however that works. And now that I was trapped inside of a giant deity statue and he was using the power of the sword of my father that I don't know about yet, things were looking pretty dicey. It was time for Dante to go to work. So, the only thing I'm concerned about is this mission with Dante. Why? Because there are elevators. Uh, am I using weapons I, I just have unlocked or everything? I'm thinking everything. I'm thinking everything. And my reasoning is because I already used Devil Trigger against um, Bale and his brother Dagon just bail uh, as Nero so 
Yeah. Yeah, for level one sword master with Gilgamesh, I can punch the ground. I mean, I guess it's a good... Nero only can do that in cutscenes, so... DMC3 is gonna be relentless. See, I think DMC3 might be a little bit easier because you have, uh... You have, uh... All right, we go. Damn it. Damn it. Uh, I could die here. I could. These guys are a little scary. What makes them less scary is shotgun. Free kill. Yeah. Shotgun really good and if they if they do that move you can you can just you can just prop shred it. So I used Devil Trigger with Nero before I got it. Uh so I'm probably gonna end up using the weapons before you quote unquote get them. Because I have them, right? If I were doing this from a fresh save where I hadn't beaten the game at all, uh, aka having bought the DLC that unlocks all the difficulties by default, then obviously I, I would have to. But since this is a quote unquote vanilla run with no DLC, and I had to play through the game twice to unlock this difficulty. And I do have the weapons at my disposal. Dante feels like garbage to play in DMC4. Well, obviously you just don't know how to play. No, I felt the same way back in the day. I, I, I've always been on the case. I, I told them I said that laugh doesn't sound natural, guys. And they said that's, that's if a tree laughs in the forest. Is anybody around to hear it? And I said, yes, I am. Because I live in the forest, you see. I'm very dedicated to my cases. All right, detective. See you around. Enjoy the pepperoni pizzas. All right, I got wombo comboed there. That's fine. Lady is guns. Rah! Get your armor destroyed, sir. All right, well that happened. It's only a matter of time now. It's only a matter of time now. Any minute now, he'll die. Any, literally any minute now. There we go. Just do Stinger Royal Guard at this point. Stinger's an upgrade, my friend. Stinger is an upgrade. Uh, I'm gonna do a pro gamer move called Farm Health. Cause, cause I am undefeatable. I'm hanging on to the other side. What made me pick my name, Lucid Enigma? It's so unique. I appreciate that. And my name actually, uh, it's funny. Now, I didn't choose it, uh, kind of, the people chose it for me, so, I was at a baseball game, and I was in the stands, and you know how they have, like, the kiss cams sometimes, right? So, that showed up, and there was nobody next to me, like, I was sitting next to two empty seats, and so I kind of looked around for a second, felt really awkward, they didn't change the camera off of me, so I was like, what do I do? And so I just kind of like started to pretend make out with like someone in the seat next to me who didn't like didn't exist. There was no one there, right? And they said, man, the announcer was like, this guy is so lucid, but he's, 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 what a strange enigma. And, and that's how I got my name. It just kind of stuck after that. Mind if I ask how old you are, because you sound like you 20. Joke answer, I'm in my 20s. Real answer, I'm, I'm 88. These guys aren't scary. I'm like, oh no, they're gonna devil- It doesn't matter. They're the popcorn enemy. We got to weapon switch. The weapon switch is out of the weapon switch. Yeah, exactly. The sanity! The price to pay! 
for no upgrades. Get in the corner. Die. This is my chance, my one opportunity. Don't let it go. Will you let this slip away? No. Screw you. Ah, uh, he healed. He healed while I was gone. While I was killing the other guy. Okay. That dude's dead. Guys, come here. Guys, I want to show you something. It's really cool. Got No. Guys. Guys? Alright. You know what? Just do this. Yeah. No, I can handle this. Actually? Yeah. No, let's just do this. <laughs> Hold on. New strat. Not like this. I did it. That's it. That's it. I just had to slowly walk away from them and shoot. Who would have known? Who would have thunk, man? Just keep, just keep smacking them. Hey, welcome, Jay. Uh, distortion is a bug. Yeah. Yeah. Keep. Yeah. Walk slowly towards me, coward. Die. Die immediately. Die insanely swiftly. Thank you. Come on, baby. Come on. Got him. Ah, all right. You know, burial? Not that bad. All right, burial's instant. Scream, pretty bad. If you were to write a story for DMC6, what would it be? I'm glad you asked, Illy. I am glad you asked. All right, picture this. Dante and Virgil talking crap to each other, right? Portal opens up in like a, a ruined chapel. Camera pans up, shows them walking out of hell. They're like, man, that, yeah, that was crazy, crazy stuff. Can't believe we saw burial there again, right? Camera pans up more, it keeps going. And out of the the corner, the corner, you you hear you hear some punk kid reciting William Blake quotes. He just gives a quote. Camera pans up, and there's Nero. He's reading from the book that Virgil left him. It's it's so good. That's DMC6, that's the opening. They're like, man, you really kicked Mundus' ass there, Virgil. You got revenge. Virgil's like, yeah, I know. And then and then Nero's just there. He's like, <clears throat> the angel that presided on my, you know, like whatever. Yeah, it's great. It, it's it's great. It's gonna be it. That's 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 how I would write DMC six. Capcom hire me. Just just saying. Anyways. He's not gonna, he's not this, he's not that bad. I just need to like. You know, kill him. I almost had him. Very unfortunate what happened. Very, very unfortunate. Emperor's about to lose his groove. Okay. Lose your groove, though. Sir, but your groove... It should be getting lost.
There we go. Now he's lost his groove. Okay, unfortunate. You gonna like randomly explode though? I'm gonna save DT just in case. Kamiya camera almost got me there for a sec. Yep. All right, I'm not saving DT anymore. All right. Got him. You'd follow follow me on Twitter, but you prefer to keep your sanity, but like that's where I that's where I post all of my uh midnight like shower thoughts. And it's great and you sh you're you're missing out, I'm telling you. I promise you you're missing out. And also Having bigger number on other platform gives bigger, more credibility to me as uh, a person who bases their entire personality around having numbers on the internet, so. What if Dante Must Dine got raided by the IRS for red orb laundering and the crew opened a nightclub, Dante Must Dance? Nah, they wouldn't do that. That, that, would, be a, that would be a scum bucket thing. The scum bucket would do that for sure. I just tried to sting her. The opening of the lewd Sid Enigma only fa- no. Um, that's a joke. You guys know the memes like, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm here to bring you something different, okay? I am gonna sugarcoat it, you know what? I am gonna sugarcoat it. Because sugar is good. I like sugar. So I am gonna sugarcoat it. Um, like... For real, have you guys ever sugar-coated anything? Like, you guys ever eaten a steak? You ever put sugar on your- cooked sugar into your steak? You've never cooked brown sugar into your steak. I devoted six years of my life to working at a restaurant, okay? <laughs> I know what I'm talking about, alright? You make a steak, next time you're grilling a steak, right? Put whatever you normally put on there, right? Just- just coat it up, normal spices, right? And then ru rub a little sugar in there. Cook it on. Let it, let it, uh, what, what's the word? What's the word? Let it, uh, it's not, the word isn't coagulate, but like, you know, let it do its thing. Let it simmer. Let it bake in. It's really good. I'm going to sugarcoat a lot of damn stuff. I, you guys will be happy to know I made the Lucid Enigma patented brand special tea with coffee today before a stream and you know what it was good it was really good and you know what i did i put sugar in it i sugar coated it i did sugar coat it exactly these are sugar coated pellets sugar coated pellets now all i need do is get through this and then it's we're 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 in the money we're in the mo anyways let me tell you something guys okay I put this on my dream board, all right? I, I pictured my victory, I manifested it. I'm manifesting it, okay? I have my mocha frappo latte right here, and I'm manifesting it. See, they're dead. Dead moment. Dead lizard moment. Hit it from the back moment. You're gonna ban me from Dante Must Dine? I created Dante Must Dine. You think to ban me? Foolishness. Foolishness. When I make this video, the, the, the video on this run, don't leave out the moaning argument. There was a moaning argument. All right, so, chat. Chat, I have a very important question for all of you. Uh, by a show of hands, how many of you in chat play or have played chess? Yay or nay? W type 1 if you've played chess on a regular basis or semi-regularly. Type 2 if you play it sometimes. Type 3 if you've never played it. No interest. 
No interest at all. Don't care about chess. All right, all right, we got some chessers. We got some chessers in chat. Now, okay, important question then. For those of you somewhat familiar with chess, do you know how many points of material the queen is worth? Are you aware of how many points of material the queen is worth in chess? It's nine. It's nine. SVR got it. It's worth nine points of material. It's worth more than all of the pawns combined. It is the thing worth the most in chess. But actually, there's a piece that's worth more. Do you guys know what it is? It's you, chat. You're all worth more than a queen. You're all worth more than a queen. Never forget that. If you kill me, the game of chess instantly ends. No replay is allowed. True, that's true. If you capture the player in the game of chess, you immediately win the game. Gah. And it's looking like we have a winner. This is the end for realsies. You see? And we have a winner. Uh, quoting DMC1, let's go. Oh, come on. Come on. You're dead, though. You're, like, more dead than I can count. Come on. Okay, but, like, he's so dead. He's, like, beyond dead right now. Okay. Jackpot. Not skipping the cutscene and also taking this time to finish off the rest of my coffee tea blend that I have made. Holy shit, what's wrong with his hair? He looks like he's wearing a toupee and you can see through it. What's happening? <laughs> Humans. They are but stubborn and <laughs> I also love Nero, but for different reasons, static. <laughs> Where was his hair? What's happening? He didn't have hair for half a second. <laughs> It's a glitch from the Dante EX. For I'm here to reclaim <laughs> What's wrong with Dante's model? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Leave the cutscene! <laughs> You guys wanted it. You guys get it. <laughs> this is terrifying. It really is. <laughs> Get grabbed. Get your grab broken. Yo, Aerial Rave is so good. Ow. Yeah, throw these calculations off, brother. Free DT. And then he's gonna go to the center. Free damage. Ah. 
Got him. Alright. Just keep aerial raving. Super simple. Ow. Wait, can they not hit me here? Yo, get cheesed. Oh, that was too close. That was too close. All right, Trickster. Come on, sir. Don't do it! Oh. Come on. Got him! GG. Alright. How many people were gr crushed under that gate piece? At least 17. Maybe just one guy, actually. Like, he, he has that thing. He's just, like, looking up. He's just looking up, and uh, he's, he's just, like, drinking his latte or something. And he's, like, notices the sun disappears, and he looks up, and he sees a giant monolith falling on him. And he's, like, oh, 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 oh. And he, like, cartoon runs in place for a second, and then, like, books it out of there. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Royal Guard. Timing on points when the trickster tricks to tricks to tricks when the tri trickster. Oh, cool. Apparently, if I just, yeah, go to that platform, he he just comes to me. Alright, cool. Dope. Yo, is he devil triggered? His face is all purple? I've never seen that. And now he comes to me. It's over. It's over. Yes! That's the savior. Distortion is a very cool mechanic, though. I do enjoy it greatly. Uh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, and that's, uh, first try. <laughs> For, <laughs> first try. <laughs> huh. I guess it was my first try after all. Uh, <laughs> guys, I think I'm out of bullets! <laughs> Can anybody spare any bullets? <laughs> 22 caliber! I love Trigun Stampede, by the way. If you guys haven't watched it, definitely go watch it. Dante put in the work on the outside, so that just left it up to me on the inside to get things done. Before I could reach the Pope and my sister girlfriend, though, I had to fight through what were essentially memories of my journey up until this point. Think of it like a metaphysical, spiritual journey, overcoming obstacles and grief and all that. Except it was very much physical. These things hurt. Oh yeah, and I got to play dice again. Uh... You know, whatever that word is where it, like, things just work out. Osmosis. That's not the word. You heard the dice suck. People 
like to rag on the dice. I'm not a huge, the, the dice aren't bad. The dice aren't bad. There is a guaranteed strategy with the dice. Also, these guys, they pacify when you grab them. So you want to grab as many as possible. Y'all hear that? What is that? No, seriously, do you guys hear that? It's BGM. It's so weird. I've literally, I've, I'll tell you what, I've never noticed that. You know how many times I've played through this damn game? Done Mission 19? I've literally never noticed that. Going for it. Yeah. Now you're dead, buddy. Just in time. One bar of health left. I gotta stay close so he doesn't charge me. Oh, you didn't uh, regain your fire? Huh. You love to see it. You love to see it. Should have side rolled. Yeah, how about Burial can suck it? What was he doing? Where, where are you going? No! 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 Alright, stand at the gate. She can't hurt you. We know this to be true. Ho oh, ho, not today. Oh, wait. She can hit you right there. Cool. I'm a focused man right now. These are real focused hours. Whoa! Whoa! Ah, go for a ride! Alright, what a finish! Alright. That was a good finish. This one's easy, you literally just walk. Nice. Okay, what's happening? Uh, sir. Sir, you're very rude. Okay, sir. Yep. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Wait, did Sanctus just crash my game? Okay, pause. Pause. Sanctus just hit me with the ultimate kill move, guys. Sanctus just hit me with the ultimate kill move. No way. <laughs> All right. He said you should alt F4 yourself now. I literally have to open the task manager. Yep. Sanctus destroyed me R IRL. All right. You're crying so much that you're a snowman now, Fat Mario the First Remastered. Oh, that's, that's great to hear. Me too. I got this. Chat, do you believe in me? I believe in me. Kirie is seeing all of this, yep. I just punched Sanctus into Kirie. It's not over. When the night ends. It's not over. It's not! Ah. 
Die. One HP clutch. Lucid classic. Hold on, we gotta finish it out. We're not done yet, boys. We gotta finish it out. You're here, H H H H H H H H H H H H H H. Welcome. There goes that one HP clutch, huh? <laughs> All the trials and tribulations, elevators and streets of Ohio. But chat, we did it. DMC4, no upgrades. I've got some big demon balls.